Hello, everybody, and welcome to Alan Wake, American Nightmare. <laughs> I've been so obsessed with Alan Wake since I first played it, and I have to learn more about the story and the lore, so let's go. Jump, ready. Chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. <laughs> I'll catch you eventually! Maybe. But what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Oh, okay, so we're in the TV show. Oh, looking good, Alan. I like your little flannel and belt buckle going on here. Very, very country. I've got Old Reliable here? Yeah, nice. We're in Arizona? Where there's a full moon every night, apparently? Oh. Oh no, not this crap again. I'm gonna throw this at my face right off the bat? Oh, no, no. They're just gonna yoink. Easy peasy. What's this? Diver's Isle. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Well, that's the cabin. In the middle of Arizona? What in the heck? Okay. Well, we can control reality now, so... Okay, okay. Spooky, spookies. We've done this. We've been here before. We're veterans. It's gonna be like that again, huh? It's gonna be like that, Alan. Let's go. Ooh. We got big boy now. Easy beat. Like I said. So yeah, okay. So this is the lamp that I pushed over. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her! This is our writing desk. This is our writing chair. And this is the cabin. Okay. Interesting. Alright. I'm so excited. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me, coming through. In another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. Stupid rocket chair. The violent <laughs> currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Oh. oh. Oil tower? Ooh. 
What's this? My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Manuscript pages provided, insight to the story. I didn't get to read the rest because I'm a slow reader, but that's fine. We already know what to press, so we get the info that's needed. Game? Game? Guess we're just stuck here doing a little jig. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, going somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so let me see. Where do we go? The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. I'm so happy I have an inner monologue or a narrator. I'd be so lost without it. Oh, we have a HUD now. Interesting. Makes things a bit oh, Somewhere within easier. the earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. Oh no. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Oh no. That's a lot of baddies. We should probably run, Ellen. Ah, they're kind of slow. But I've said that before. Ooh, sometimes running is always the best option. Brightly lit areas can provide a safe haven for any. From any. That's fine. They're slow. Look at them. They can't hurt anybody. Look nice at them. They just, they just run in a line. Come on, guys. Come on. Right here. Yeah, we should probably... <laughs> I should stop messing around. Probably get out of here. Get to the motel. Get to the chopper. Are they still chasing me? Oh yeah, they're still chasing me. This must be new Taken, because the old Taken would be right on my booty. Throwing axes at me and stuff. The safe haven formed by a bright light heals you. Heal me light! Oh. And it disappeared. Okay, good to know, good to know. Hello? I hear music. Ooh, what is this? Unlock weapon crates by finding hidden manuscript pages and blast your enemies with serious firepower. <gasps> Ooh! Dang it, we need three manuscript pages. Hello? Anybody oh. here? Alan, I... I just asked that. I just said that. Stop copying me. Hey, it's you. It's me. There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? Typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Who's this? Who are you? At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. Okay. Um, we haven't actually met before. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember you stayed at the motel here. 
No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. My what now? Where can I find the things I need? There's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you gonna tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Fine. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. Oh, goodness. We just sound like we're... We're completely unhinged. <laughs> the cheese has slid off the cracker. You should be careful. You can think what you want about me, but there's still bad guys around. Be careful. Well, you might be nuts, but I've seen the way they move, the way they look. I'll buy that. They're called Taken. They aren't really human. Not anymore. And they're climbing out of the oil well? What, do they have secret headquarters down there, or...? No, that's just where the point of connection is. It's a hole that leads to... Well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. And the guy who looks like you opened it. Because he was hanging around the oil field before. He gets around, unfortunately. I have no idea what's going on, but we're soon going to find out. <laughs> Thanks for helping me. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I wish I thought you were just a nutcase. Actually, I kind of expected you to. Me too. But I feel like this is how it's supposed to go. Isn't that weird? Not really. I get that a lot in my line of work. What do you do anyway? I'm a writer. Obviously. Wait, what does he do again? <laughs> it's... It's two games now, and I- he's never once said what he- what he does for a living. <laughs> what was that about my aura? What was that you said about my aura? Oh, I'm very spiritual, you know. I can see auras, but I only use it for healing and helping people. I'm like a wise woman, you know? I give people insight and advice. Look, just because I say crazy things doesn't mean I believe everything. Don't be like that. Maybe you should take a few crystals with you if you're going out there. It might be dangerous. They soothe your energies and focus your mind. It's fantastic. And they help me take out the bad guys? Oh, well, no. Not as such. Yeah, okay. I think I'm... Or I have some wonderfully potent herbal detox suppositories. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You have a what now? What? No, 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 you, you just can't, you can't just gloss over that. You have what now? I'm supposed to be the crazy one, okay. <laughs> Ooh, what's it? <gasps> oh, sweet, we have a nail gun now. I don't know if I like this side. Let's go, there we go. Alright, so we have a HUD now, so that the shows us. The light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Okay, okay. Gotcha. So, the HUD is kind of thing. It was probably in the in the last game, but I probably turned it off because I don't usually like Whoa, oh, HUDs. But I think in this one, I should probably keep it on because there's a lot of information in, in this one. What the... How do I get in here? Hello? Ooh. Oh, dang it, I did it again. <laughs> Gosh, dang it me. All right, pew pew. That's not how we get in. They'll probably open up in a second. Let's see, what is this? Well, here you are, about to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the boat. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands all the time, you know. Talk about an education. Anyway, great band, couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. And let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of roads. There's some
and serious rock and roll veterans because they weren't too young even back in the day. Well, now I've got Odin and Tor Anderson, two of the original old gods, in the studio with me, along with our manager, Barry Wiggum. Barry! Oh, hey, great to be here, Eddie. Yeah, hey. Hello! Now, boys, let me just come around and say this, all right? Spring chickens, you ain't. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you make the stones look young. <laughs> You're only as old as you feel. <laughs> Who you calling old? <laughs> I love them so much. Album was 1978 in the Valley of My Shadow. And then you stopped playing all together after that. Why? And, and what made you do a comeback after all this time? Well, <laughs> it was a sad thing. See, the original bass player for Old God, Spad Bob Balder, passed away in... Leukemia! Oh, Bob had leukemia, poor bastard. Yeah, after that, we didn't feel like playing no more. Long story short, I ran into these guys up in Washington, and it was obvious to me that they still got it. So I figured, hey, let's make some music, right? Well, he did represent them. Now, Barry, you were a literary agent before this, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, and you were very successful. You represented Alan Wake, I believe, who disappeared under mysterious... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... Hey, I just want to talk about old gods tonight. Is that cool? Can we do that? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Listen, why don't we take a little break, and then later on in the program, we'll hear the new Old God single. Stay tuned, folks. Well, at least Barry landed on his feet. Yeah. That's neat. I forgot to turn the subtitles on, and I cannot hear without subtitles. The mini-map on the top left-hand corner of the screen shows your current objective. Locations of ammo boxes and safe havens are also shown as icons. Blinking question mark indicate a hidden manuscript page nearby. Ooh, okay. So yeah, HUD is important. Cause I don't think you really needed the HUD in the last game. Cause it would indicate when your flashlight was low and then you didn't really, well you needed to find the manuscript pages, but they um, were pretty obvious. Hello? Anything else I need to do around here? Don't look like it. We're gonna stock up on this. Perfect. Head this way, maybe? There's some stuff over here. Ooh, a TV. This is... Oh, hell. This isn't oh, gonna no. Be good. Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. How you That's doing? Like it. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I'll be right with you. I just gotta do this one thing. I like it quiet. I bet you're wondering why this is happening. Why am I doing all this? Why am I so hell-bent on ruining your life? Why are you so handsome? <laughs> You're crapping my style. You've got money, <laughs> fame, everything you could want. But you don't know what to do with it. I do. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Having more fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. This poor slob's just collateral damage, really. I mean, made some information out of him earlier. But this part? This is just for kicks. Well, I'm gonna get blamed for this. <laughs> yeah. Doppelgangers. Mm. So quiet. Lovely. Like I said, we're gonna get blamed for that now. We're gonna get in trouble for that. There's gonna be an FBI agent after us because of something he did. Wonderful. I know that when I arrive, the clarity of vision I have now may disappear. I've made my plans. 
I prepared for this, but I know the transition from the dark place will be hard on me. And not just physically. It may affect my mind, my memory. These pages should help me remember and focus. That's worked for me before. Even if that fails, I think I will be able to trust my instincts. I'm navigating my own story. I'm hoping I'll know where to go and what to do, even if the details elude me. All right, let's see. So there is a star over here. There's probably something to pick up here. Uh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Oh no. Whoa. Ooh, okay. All right, so we just jump right in. Let's go. Got our handy little nail gun. Can't see because of a bush. Still got the dodge skills. Lovely. Perfect. That's one thing down. Good job, Alan. Let's see. Oh, there's something over there. Go check that out. What is that? A wheel? Oh yeah, because we have to do what it said on the page. We have to turn on the oil rig. We had to play something on the boombox, right? And lights or something? I think it said. Gosh dang it. Let's see. Anything interesting over here? Ooh, ammo. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we're full on that. Go this way? Oh, I see a page. That's so nice that it shows up on the, the HUD over there. Let's see. To change reality, you nudge it into the right direction. Your version of it is there, waiting. It wants to come true. All you need to do is help it achieve its potential. The devil is in the details. You change the details of the scene to match those on the page. If you get the details right, if you achieve that critical mass, the shift will come, and the rest of your new reality overrides the existing paradigm. The lie, no matter how outrageous, is now the truth. Okay. So I wonder I wonder how far we can go. We just leave? <laughs> just forget this. I'm not being no hero. We're oh, okay. So yeah, something happens. Probably will die if I continue on that way. Train? You're not gonna come to life, are you? Are you? Wheel? There's no barrels around here. I think we're safe. <laughs> Ooh, okay. The reality we take for granted is softer. More adaptable than we think. Under correct conditions, you can reshape it. Turn it into almost anything you want. When it happens, almost nobody notices. It's not that we forget. It's that after the change, there's nothing to remember. Only those who have been directly touched by the powers that can shift reality are aware of the changes. Many are driven mad by it. Others can cope. I'm one of those people. And I know how to wield that power to rewrite reality. Hmm. Okay, is there something in here? Wheels, I don't trust you. Gosh dang it. This dang game makes me afraid of everything. Oh, it must be inside. Ooh, hello, sir. Hi. Can I uh, interest you in some glaucoma? Venom tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. It becomes weaker, but more numerous. Such as the arithmetic of harm. Okay. How weak are we talking here? Oh gosh, I missed every single shot there. That's interesting. That's new. I kind of like that. That was just messed up. I kind of agree, Alan, but still, it was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool bad guy. Lovely, lovely. We got some ammo. Oh, we got a Something rifle. Tells me I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. That's two. Just one more to go. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the that's the CD. Awesome. 
We have this a gun now? Well, a rifle. I prefer um my shotgun. But this can work in a pinch, I think. Let's see, is there anything back here perhaps? Other than my death and some spookies? I still don't trust. You. I'm watching you. You're not gonna sneak up on me, train. Well, that was worth a shot. Let's see. Hold on, we gotta test this. Alan, have you been working out in the past couple years? Months? I don't know how long you've been in the darkness, but have you been working out? Oh, look at you. You can actually run. You've been doing cardio. Oh, there's, there's a teacher. <laughs> Some of the Taken aren't protected by the darkness like their comrades. Instead, their aversion to light is so extreme that they literally split into two when they encounter strong light. It leaves the two halves weaker, but of course, their strength in numbers. It's a disturbing development. The dark presence I faced two years ago was powerful but it didn't have much in the way of imagination. Clearly, the same cannot be said of Mr. Okay, so we found, how many pages do we have now? Five, six? Has to be about five or six, right? Hello? Hello? Oh! Oh, okay, yeah, just line up for me, please. Thank you, appreciate it. Gotta love it when they just line up like that for you. Like the old kung fu movies where they just attack you one at a time. That's everything. That the is everything. Found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. Nothing's ever that easy, is it, Alan? I don't think I checked over here. Did I check over here? Can I take the car? Nope, can't take the car. Hello, anybody in here? Nope, nothing in here. Nope. Uh. Oh, we gotta take it to, uh, what's her name? Marie? Mary? Medusa? It was an M name. I need this battery charged. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. I love the voice acting in this game. <laughs> Wait, I can't- I can't trash talk the voice acting in any game. I had to read a visual novel for Scarlet Hollow and it's- it's- it's rough. It's hard. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Listen, I don't know what's gonna happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, alright? This thing could get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? Wait, we're gonna set fire to the oil rig? That doesn't sound too smart, Alan. But it's gonna be badass to see. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Wish me luck. Wait a sec, I wanna ask you about something first. What did you mean with that my memory's a little hazy thing? I had a pretty rough time coming here. It was like being caught in a tsunami. I blacked out for a while. It's hard to explain. There's a, a barrier of sorts that I had to break through. I was lucky to make it here with my wits as intact as they are. So you might have brain damage. You're about to do great things with a magic piece of paper. And you came here from another dimension? No, I'm from New York. I was just visiting another dimension. Oh, yeah, okay. My bad. Yeah, sounds 100% legit, Alan. 100% legit. That's a nice car. we take the car? We probably can't take it because she's working on it, so it probably doesn't work. Okay, so let's see. Does this- can we open this up yet? Remember to restock on ammo- oh, yeah! Wait, does this just- Replenish? Oh, hello? There we go. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I definitely Get all of our nails back. That's lovely. Perfect. Get here. 
Submachine gun? Oh, but I don't get my nail gun anymore. But it's a submachine gun. Let's go. I guess it's about time I went full auto. <laughs> Is that your one liner, Alan? Where are we supposed to go? Oh, this way. To an oil rig? Something shiny over here. Let's see. Arizona Petroleum Inc. Night nice. Springs. Explosive. Ooh, wait a second. Is that? There we go. There's my shotgun. How many problems you can solve with buckshot? America. We gotta go up here and do what's on the wall. Oh, okay. You can dodge attacks by tapping shift when the enemies strike. We know this already. Oh, that just. That just took it out! Just instant explosions! Very nice, very nice. I'm kinda liking this gun. Didn't have this last game, so this is exciting. Oh, is that a big boy? No, he's not very big. Maybe I won't need my shotgun with this. Seems very overpowered. Well, we'll take our shotgun out so I don't feel left out. Ooh. Revolver. I'm gonna stick with the submachine gun. Probably gonna be my famous last words, but hey. Anything interesting over here? Ooh. Got us a little manuscript page over here. A bubbling sound. Oh, it must be the oil rig. Mr. is a twisted copy of me. Powerful and dangerous. But I know I can fight him. I don't think anybody else can. They don't understand what he is, what he represents, or that all the horrible things he does here are almost insignificant compared to what he will unleash on Earth given the chance. But I've survived the dark place, and it has taught me things. How to cope, how to stay sane when the world goes crazy. He's two steps ahead of me, but I can find him, and I believe I can stop him. Lovely. Kind of want to go see what's- Oh, there's stuff over there! See, this is- this is terrible. Why do you show me shinies? Gotta go check it out. I always gotta check it out, even though I probably gotta come back here, but hey. What's the harm in stocking up on a bunch of ammo? Ooh, another page, too! Sweet. The strands of webbing glistened in the beam of my flashlight, fine, almost ethereal. They were fresh, and right in my path. I held my breath and waited, ear straining. Nothing. I moved on, concentrating on the task at hand. Just get what I was looking for, then leave. That's all I keep telling myself. For a moment, I actually thought it might be as simple as that. Then, I heard too many legs skittering across the ground. Awesome. Anything in here? Nope. Ooh, flare. I can never have too many flares. Dang it, I have too many flares. Oh well. <laughs> I don't think, I think that's everything over here? Go check out this cop car. Oh. Freeze, officer. Oh. Can we take the cop car? Gosh dang it, I just want to drive, I guess. Oh well. Let's just head back this way. Oh, this is nice. Alan can run for more than five seconds. Very nice. Best improvement. Dude doesn't even huff and puff anymore. Oh! No, got the crow. Sid Vicious.
How many can we... <laughs> How little can we make them? Oh, they, they have a limit. I was hoping we can turn him into, like, little ashes. Ooh. Oh, you're still a big boy. Here we go. I still like that. That's pretty neat. You just gotta give him glaucoma and then shoot the crap out of him. Time to make some serious changes. Excuse me? Oh, you're talking about this. Oh, okay. Check the manuscript. The wheel was in place, the oil was flowing, the battery was attached, the lights were blinking, the CD was playing in the boombox. Gotcha. Okay, so the light was flowing. No. The the oil rig was booming. No. <laughs> the oil was flowing. That's what it was. The boombox was a boomin'. Good job, me. And the lights? Oh, lights. Okay, so these are the lights. The lights were a blinkin'. Oh, those lights. Gotcha. That's awesome. Uh oh. Alan, we might we might want to run. Oh, you're already on it, sweetie. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this whole place is gonna blow up. That was fun. Oh! Alan, why do you have to destroy every town you, you visit? <laughs> oh, that's neat! The satellite! Where do we go now? Oh, this way. Oh. Why are the lights off? I don't trust that. Sirs, I must ask you to please step away from the door. Thank you. Anybody else? That was it? Nope, it's never it. Uh, I see more of them. <laughs> Big boy. Oh, we still have the... Yeah, let's do this. There we go. Oh, you still have your shield up. I'm over here being snarky. Turning into Alan Wake. <laughs> There's more of them! I see them! They're right here! How do you know there's more of them? You're in there. Oh, okay, so that gives us batteries too. Lovely, good to know. What the hell was that? Easy. I got him. You're safe. I need you to tell me what you know about him. The guy who looks like me. He... He looks like you. There was a, there was a party in one of the rooms. It, it was pretty wild. I, um, I'm not sure which room it was in. You didn't attend. And no, I wasn't there. But it got way out of hand. Anyway, I I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. It was something. a killer party. Maybe you could find out more from there. I, I I got some keys that you could maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Like hell. I'm getting out of here as soon as you leave so I could close up this place and go home. Emma, you really want to stay here in the light. Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just go already, okay? 
Uh, you should probably stay here. Wait, now that I think about it, this is probably not the safest place because they can get in and once the lights are out, they'll get you. Are you okay? Are you okay? I guess. Thanks for the help. Were those the... what do you call them? The Taken? What are they? It's complicated. Short version, the darkness can take people over. That's why I had to destroy the oil derrick. Otherwise, they would have overrun the place. Oh, I didn't think you'd actually do it. I mean, I didn't think it'd work. That's crazy. Just stay in here and be safe. Let me just try one more time at the risk of sounding like a broken record. It's bad out there. I don't want you hurt. You should stay put. Yeah, while well, you turn this place into an inferno, run around shooting things up and play some kind of weird games with your psycho evil twin. Don't get me wrong. You're, you're nice for a weirdo. I'm impressed as hell by all of this, but enough is enough. I seriously just want to get out of here. Okay? I mean, she does have a point, Alan. <laughs> Very valid point. <laughs> I thought I saw something to pick up. Was it this? Yeah, it was probably that. We don't need that. We have our Uzi. So we need to go to the diner, I believe it was. Still want to know how the heck you get that page in there. Sworn I heard something behind me. Alright, let's go! Test out that cardio, Alan. Oh, this is lovely. Thank goodness. This is way better. See, you took my advice, sweetie. Geist. Its existence is one of rage and hostility. And oh no. Ordinary objects. No. Deadly projectile. No, don't don't oh, project. Shit. Don't project towards me. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> you need to change your pants, Alan. <laughs> oh, gosh dang it. Nothing, nothing. Oh! Shopping cart! Alan Wake, welcome to Jackass. <laughs> I love your little walk, Alan. I could have sworn there's ammo here. Maybe it was just this one. Alright, just that one. What's this? Oh, Red Tooth Observatory. Oh, is that it? Interesting, interesting. Hello? I, um, need some diner food? I would like some, uh, cherry pie and a cup of coffee, please? Nobody working? No? Alright. What's this? This old chair. Best magazine ever. Anything in here? Nope. Let's go catch all over this diner. The scene. Traces of violence. A callous midnight snack. A room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Interesting. All right, what's this? Satellite and now this? That place might be involved. Maybe. Just. Well, Mr. Scratch does get around, it seems. Head back? It seems. Emma Sloan was a believer in oh, a great no. many things. See, we told her. Of which were entirely fallacious. Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half, more collateral damage in the ongoing war. Oh crap. Damned by forces beyond her She's gonna be the new, uh... By her own actions. She's gonna be the new boss fight, isn't she? If 
thought I heard somebody behind me. What the heck was that? No, no, no. No, oh, that's who was behind me. I knew I heard somebody. I knew I wasn't hallucinating or anything. I heard the little pitter patters of feet. Sneak up on you. If that was the old game, I would have been dead already. Hello? I need help. There's been... There's a fire. There's a satellite that crashed. And... People are attacking me. Ayudame. There's probably a possible kidnapping. Hello? Damn it! Why didn't you listen? Should have listened. We told her. Explore the hotel. Oh, is this how we get into here? Very nice. Not the best rooms in the world, but hey. Oh. My own face peered back at me from the TV screen. For a moment, I struggled with the sensation of deja vu. How many times have I seen myself like this now? And then there was that easy grin that never seemed quite as quick or natural on my own lips. The dark, malicious twinkle in the eyes. And I knew who I was looking at. As he pulled back and revealed the room behind him, my throat went dry. There was nothing I could do but watch. Ooh, does that mean we have enough, uh, manuscripts to get that, that other thing? Oh, sorry, Alan. Oh god, gotta run all the way back over here. But it's fine because we've done cardio now. Look at that. We can run now. Not enough! Well, poop. This means we gotta head back. Find more pages. In this room? Oh. <laughs> oh well. Guess we gotta go in the lovely room of death. Damn. Michael Faraby. Dead. Tortured. Dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. Let's see. I guess that'll have to be my next stop. I think so too, Alan. All the clues are leading to the observatory. The observatory. Hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness. The Champion of Light forges on to see the stars.